Okay, this is Phil DiBerardinas. I am at 322 Girard Southeast. Uh, Sean just let me in. I came back outside. I'd start from the beginning. Um, house obviously needs quite a bit of work. Uh, I don't know when the last time anyone was out here. So far, so good. So the floors look fairly even. Doesn't seem to be much settling. But um, probably need a new roof. There is some structural issues. There are some structural issues. These doors are cleaned up. Yeah. Well, this needs some work. But yeah, we can clean these up and put some stain. Out. Put yeah. Stain or... Bathroom just needs so the toilet bowl is falling down, pulling in. Some structural, some settling here as well. Uh, I'll do a little research. I don't know exactly when the home was built. But I guess I'm just going to assume this all needs to be gutted and redone from my point of view as an investor. Um, garage, I guess, was converted or closed off years ago. Probably won't be able to see in here water heater. Okay, windows, obviously stucco, new stucco, new windows, um, settling cracks in the wall, just a lot to clean up. A tree growing out from underneath, I believe that's a uh, Russian oak perhaps, I think that's what they call it, it's a weed tree. I understand that new water service and new sewer line was installed. It's a positive. We're good, good there. House has been boarded up by the city next door. I don't think there's any reason to get in at this point. Backyard uh, just needs a lot of attention. Apparently, kids breaking in, doing some graffiti. Um, Sean says he's had a hard time trying to keep people out. And what's been boarded up? Electrical services no longer. It's all new electrical. Probably for both properties, I'd imagine. See if we can get back here. Uh, power is hooked up here. You can see lines going into the side. I believe. Uh, these are cable. There's power. In any event, obviously it needs a lot of work. Um, I will. Do some homework, find out what's going on with the city as far as code violation, fines, and what it would take to bring this up to a living condition where the city will sign off on it. I am a licensed general contractor and a licensed real estate broker, so I should be able to find out good comparable properties, what it might sell for in the future or rent for.
It's a good rental area for this for the university. All right, this is Phil signing off and we will talk to you soon. Thank you.